Well, that's it. We are live. Welcome to the channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. I just woke up from a nice midday nap. Personally, I like to take naps around 2 p.m. if I'm feeling it, if I've done a hard workout that day or the day before. And that's exactly what happened. So I had a great nap, woke up feeling like I just got out of a massage or something and uh, want to read some comments that I've received from the 30 day raw food challenge thus far. What I'm about to read to you are some of the reasons why people want to eat raw. I think it's very important to find your why power. And so in day one of the 30 day raw food challenge, I asked people to come up with the reason why, why do they even want to eat a raw food diet? And then I asked them to post that in the Facebook group. I'm trying to go raw for the amazing high energy I used to get when I would eat like 10 bananas for breakfast last summer and the amazing inspiration to do whatever I want and not be lazy and to be a role model and inspire others to be vegan as well. Freaking awesome, man, that you've made that memory, you've made that association with eating bananas for breakfast and having energy throughout the day. That's rad. A lot of people, they don't have that association with the food they eat affecting the way they feel. So by you associating that and having that, those memories, of having those fond memories of eating clean and feeling amazing, that's going to help you succeed long term for sure. I joined this challenge to build my foundation and to have all the tools to be able to stay raw, even in the cold climate that I live in, and to leave my cooked food addiction behind and to become the best version of myself. Passionately written there, man. That was amazing. Love it. Again, you've got these associations that raw food will help you feel better, will help you live a better life. And uh, for anyone that's gone on a raw food diet long enough, they can attest that's absolutely true. So awesome that you're already raw. And I have no doubt that this program will help give you a stronger foundation to succeed long term on a raw food diet. Next one. I'm already raw because of the perfectly smooth digestion that doesn't happen when I eat any other way. For mental clarity, for energy, for the sweet juicy fruit. I'm raw because I like that glow that you get after like three days of eating papayas. I love that. Positivity, motivation, creativity, all the awesome things that I attract when I'm in alignment with my body. What I want and what makes me feel vibrant. Boom! That is awesome. So yeah, you've got, even got some contrast there. You say, look, I am raw because I love this. And I am raw because I get all these benefits. And when I stray, when I go back to the other foods, I don't get those benefits. It's, I'm empty. You don't, get, you don't get the sweet. I mean, you can have some sweet, juicy fruit if you're eating other food. You can have some energy if you're eating other food. You can have all right digestion if you're eating other food. But when you're eating raw, when you're keeping it clean, you're keeping it lean, you know, you're having those three days of eating papayas, yeah, you're going to have that glow. It's just going to take you to that next level. So that is awesome. Really love reading that. It's really nice for me to read this because it's easy for me to think that I'm the only one experiencing these benefits because I look around and I'm the only one eating raw most of the time. But when I go to festivals, I feel so good. I feel so connected with all these people getting the same experience as me, or at least the same benefits as me. We're all having different experiences lately, but we're all in love with the fruit and we're all getting high together on these natural fruits. Uh, so next comment here is uh, my why reason is Major League Baseball. When I tried this diet previously, there was nothing I felt I could not accomplish. Making it a lifestyle rather than a diet, I believe will give me the same feeling of invincibility. This will hopefully lead to better training and an overall stronger desire to continue practicing regardless of any setbacks. If I do make it to the majors, I hope to plant food forests are all around the country, so people do not have to worry about the price of organic fruit. They could just eat from my yard. Crazy dreams, but keep chasing. Thanks, guys. Whew, got me emotional there. That's amazing, man. That is so amazing. I love that. That one really hit my heart, man. That's dope. When someone's got a dream like that, to provide for their country, so cool, man. And yeah, absolutely, what, what you said, bro, about uh, wanting to turn this into a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Nobody gets a tattoo about a freaking diet that they're eating. So it's like, oh, how come, how come vegans like get vegan tattoos? Because it's not a, just a vegan diet. It's a lifestyle. It's like the straight edge people, you know, who get like the X's on their hands. Like the straight edge lifestyle, man. No drugs. Just clean living. So veganism, raw veganism, same thing, man. If people treat raw veganism like a diet, 
they won't last. You know, you can get some little cleansing benefits here and there, sure, use as a cleanse, but if you want to make it last long term, lifestyle, 100%. So bang on there, man, and great dream, man. Hold the vision. You hold that vision, it'll come. It'll become a reality. You don't have no choice, man. What you hold in your mind's eye eventually becomes your physical reality on the outside. Next comment. Why do I want to be raw? To make life changes after many years of unhealthy habits. I'm creating a new me. Fantastic, man. One of the things that stood out for me was when I first went raw. Remember someone, Tim Van Orden, I think it was, said, every seven years, your body goes through its final cycle of changing out all the cells in the body. So like it takes like, I don't, I, don't, I don't know how long it takes for a liver to change all the cells or a tongue to change all the cells. The tongue it might take like 10 days or 14 days or something to completely have brand new tongue cells. But your brain, same way, your heart, the same thing. So your cells are always changing. And after a certain amount of time, all the cells in your body are completely new. So after seven years of eating just raw, your cells in your body will be made up completely of raw foods. Pretty cool. And this is why it's really tough initially to get going with raw because the cells in your body are made up of cooked foods. So all of a sudden you stop eating cooked and you start eating raw, your body goes into like stress and it's like, yo, where are all the cooked food calories that have been keeping us alive for all these years? What the heck? Like raw is good, yeah, but where's the cooked food that kept us alive? So it wants that comfort. And after seven years of doing it, it's... Your body's like, oh, raw food. Yeah, yeah, we got it. No problem, man. Just keep bringing in the raw. So it might take a little while. Next question. All right, next, next question. Next comment we got. Happy first day of the raw food challenge. Here is my why. Physically, one of my missions in life is to have optimal health despite a rare thyroid disease that I was born with. I believe in the body's power to heal, and that is my main motivation behind this. Also, to clear my skin. When I came off birth control a few years ago, I got such bad acne that is still popping up. I want that gone for good. And mentally. I want self-confidence so I can go after the things I want in life. And I want to change my mindset. I've recently began practicing positive thinking and trying not to get so caught up in what's going on in my life. Pushing out those positive vibes and energy. I like that. I like that finishing point. Pushing out the positive vibes and energy. A lot of people are just focused on consuming the positive vibes and energy. And that's helpful for sure. But once you start emanating, once you start giving, then you really start receiving. You open the floodgates of reception. And look online, look at the people spewing negativity. They get negative energy right back. So it's important to, yeah, not only consume positivity through these videos that we're providing the 30 day raw food challenge, but to also put it back out there. That is amazing. I like this comment. I like this comment. And the thing about the acne, um, that's why I went raw in the first place, to clear my acne. But girls have it differently. Girls, girls are different because, I mean, not all girls, but girls who've just gone off birth control, their hormones, man, their hormones are way out of whack. So it's causing these acnes to pop, these zits to pop up. But uh, that, that'll go away in time. But I think your second point here about the mentality, having the self-confidence to go after the things you want. I think you're also, when you change your mindset, you also change the way you look at what you've already got. And so if you still have some acne, but your self count, your confidence is through the roof, you're like, I'll make the video anyway. Okay, uh, next comment. Whoa, dude, we got so many comments. I might have to make a part two of this. Whoa, this is cool. We had a good amount of people sign up for this course, so we'll see how far we get in this video. Here are my whys. Flexibility. I'm doing daily flexibility training, and I find that low-fat, raw veganism with lots of juices helps my flexibility a lot. My eyes. I desire to clear them up and brighten them as a reflection of my increased health. Beautiful. Spirituality. Clearer mind, better mood, more positive thoughts all help me have a deeper spiritual connection. Cellulite. Yeah, that just needs to go. Raw foods, raw food cellulite zapping power. DNA repair and deep healing of any body regeneration, degeneration. To master the quality of temperaments. To increase my consciousness and make only my highest choices in everything I put into my mind, body, and soul. That was really well written. That was really cool. That was like a poem. I think this, this uh, I want to say this user. I don't want to say this guy or girl. Because I don't know really who or what is. Can't really tell by the thumbnail. Because um, there's two people in the thumbnail and the name is like unisex. 
That was really cool. I think uh, if you wrote that, then dang, you're you're a great writer. I want to read that again sometime. <laughs> I want to read your book when you write a book about why you're eating well. <laughs> Cheers to everyone out there taking this raw challenge. Thanks, Ted, for all the inspiration that got us to this point and for preparing such an amazing program for us. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Here are the reasons why I want to go raw vegan for tearing. Number one, I want to live in line with nature's design. Number two, I was inspired by Return to the Brain of Eden by Tony Wright. Cool. Number three, better moods, energy, digestion, and sleep. Number four, optimizing my lifestyle choices in order to achieve greatness. Number five, athletic performance, biking, running, handstands, parkour, drumming. Number six, clearer skin, hair, and eyes. Number seven, mental clarities. Mental clarity. <laughs> Looks like I lost it there. Number eight, the diet is simple. Number nine, enjoy naturally delicious foods. Number 10, this lifestyle is unique, interesting, and inspiring. Good list, good list. That's like a, when people ask like for a list for Santa Claus for Christmas time, you get what you ask for, typically. If you got rich parents, no. <laughs> if you know what you want in life, you can get it. And so, this guy right here, I just gave it away as a guy. This guy right here has a list. And when you have a list of what you want, you can go and get it. You can go and become in vibrational alignment with it. You don't need to physically like go and like look for it and like I got this list, I got the scavenger hunt list, I gotta go find all these things at the grocery store or at the school or at the library, or whatever. It's like you read this list every day and you come across like mental clarity and it's like boom you tap into some more mental clarity right there you get reminded oh yeah there is such a thing as mental clarity let's feel what that feels like let's think as if we already have mental clarity you come across something on this list like better moods and you're like oh yeah that is within my reach i can have a better mood i can laugh i can smile i can be calm cool and relaxed and have empathy for others i can have a great mood i can be looking forward to things you come across something on the list, like uh, the diet is simple. And you're like, oh yeah, the diet can be simple. I just go have some oranges. I'll just have a meal of papayas. Done. Easy. So you've got to have this list. You've got to know what you want and better understand why you want it. And I think the reason you want everything on this list is because it makes you feel better. You just feel better about what you're doing in life when you've got these things happening in your life. So that's awesome, man. Good to have this list. Next comment. My why for doing this challenge is to kickstart the detox process and heal my body and mind. I ate a diet high in meat and dairy and processed foods for 19 years. And I've been vegan for a year now, but I still didn't feel as healthy as I know I could be. I was still relying on caffeine each day to get up, addicted to sugar, gluten, and salt as well, from, and I was tired all the time. A few weeks ago, I did a five-day watermelon island, and the results were enough to motivate, motivate me to try raw for 30 days. Then, hopefully, I'll do it for a lifetime. I'm so excited to be on this journey with you and to have the opportunity to be coached through the transition. Thank you, Ted, and good luck, everyone. Cool. Very, very cool. What I would say about that one is the fact that you've already done a five-day watermelon island, that, that's, that's next level, man. That's next level. I've never done... I didn't do more than the five-day watermelon island until I was a couple years into the raw food thing. But if you did it from like going from standard cook diet or vegan cook diet to five days on Melon Island, raw is going to be no problem for you, man. You got all this variety, you can do that for sure. At least the eating part won't be. You might still have some difficulty with, you know, the people around you or getting set up 365 so you can always get the food trickling in, always have it in stock. But we'll get to that in the later part of the, uh, the challenge. Talk about that in a couple videos in the future. So you'll get there. Next comment, why power? I have recognized that food plays a major role in my wicked mood swings. I would like to be more stable to be a better wife and mother for my family. My mom passed away from cancer and was diabetic. I don't want to do that to my son. I was in a severe car accident and would like to see how much I can heal myself since the doctors are done. Powerful. 
powerful, man. That is, you talking about why power? That is power right there, bro. That is power. I love that. That was a great, great read right there. Emotional for sure. Thank you for your video, Ted. I think you're spot on about figuring out the why. Making it happen from a place of conscious awareness. My why? I am curious to see what happens on the other side. I've had a glimpse of fasting, but wonder what it would be like to experience that kind of vitality every single day. I wonder if it would activate all of my Wonder Woman superpowers. Well, it will unlock a huge portion of them. The other portion is gonna come from things like getting the early nights, getting the fitness in, getting in the meditation, practicing the gratitude. But if you get the raw food diet on lock, man, you're gonna wanna do all those other things like boom, 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 boom. Cause you do eat raw and you're like, okay, I feel this great. Like what else is out there? And you start unlocking all these other little tools that help you release more superpowers. So for sure, you're gonna be more of a Wonder Woman every day. Next comment. Dear 30 Day Raw Food Challenge community, I think you are all amazing for doing this and I wish you all the best in this journey. So here are my reasons why. I'd like to clear up my mind. I'd like to have a healthy skin. I'd like to improve my eyesight. I'd like my meals to be very simple and easy. I love fruit, so I guess I would get a lot of that too. I'd like to prove to people around me that this is a very healthy lifestyle and it just makes sense. I'd like to lose weight and I'd like to feel energized so that I'm able to work out every day. That's, that's a list right there, man. That's the list. You write down that list, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. A lot of people in the world don't believe that any of those things are even possible for them. Every single thing that you put on that list, everyone's got an excuse for. But you don't seem to have an excuse. You just seem to be flowing. You're like, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this. And it's true, you're gonna get it. In fact, I'm sure you've already experienced clear minds at some point. I'm sure you've already experienced having healthy skin at some point. I'm sure you've already experienced having simple meals. I'm sure you've already experienced feeling energized and able to work out and having the strong desire to work out. So if you've had it once, you're gonna have it again. And even if you have never had it before, maybe you've been overweight your whole life. You see everyone around you being well, an underweight or not underweight, but just the perfect weight. And you're like, well, if they can do it, I can do it too. So yeah, everything on this list is possible. What's gonna happen is you're gonna get everything on this list and you're gonna be like, what else do I want? What else do I want? What else am I going to add to this list? So, yeah, so it's nice that you've got a, a list to keep you on raw. It's also going to be cool to see in the future creating a, a bigger list, a more expanded list. Next comment. My whys are vibrancy, energy, and glow. I want to have vibrant health both physically and mentally. I want mental clarity. I want to have energy every day to do the things I love. And I want the raw food glow. Glowing skin, no acne, and a contagious smile. What are your whys? <laughs> My whys, I posted in the 30 day challenge already in the video. But my whys are uh, plenty. But a couple of them are better sleeps, better moods, more energy, and smooth digestion. Those are just like rock solid foundational whys I've got. If I stray, if I stray, if I stray from this diet at all, I lose those four things. I lose the great sleeps, I lose the clear skin, I lose the, the fantastic moods, and I lose the smooth digestion. And I don't want to go through life with any, without any of those four things. Well, that's it, guys. Those are all the reasons why people want to eat a raw vegan diet. You've heard my reasons before in other YouTube videos. I talk about all the benefits all the time on this channel, I hope. Maybe if I don't talk about it enough, let me know and I'll make more videos called top 10 benefits of a fruit diet or whatever but I just want to give you guys a little glimpse of why people are going towards the raw vegan diet and I just want to give a shout out to all the people who've signed up for the course it's been an amazing couple days so far talking with you guys it's, it's usually hard to get people to take action like you ask someone for a testimonial and it's like meh but like these people are just coming forth not these people you people are just coming forth you just can't hold it in. You're like, here. Like, here's what I got. 